What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mario Sports Superstars. Last time we took on the tennis exhibition. Today we're going to be playing horse racing and we're going to be doing free race. Apparently there isn't a tournament mode for horse racing. I'm not sure why that is but there just isn't. I want to apologize as well for the lack of uploads over the last few days. I've been sick. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, then you wouldn't know. But I've been sick and my voice was just very, very weird sounding. I wasn't in any position to be recording videos. I could have recorded videos, but I'm not really a big fan of recording videos while I'm sick. Because it's just like, why not wait until you get better and your voice sounds good before you just put out a video that's most likely going to be online forever. So, I feel much better, thankfully. So, I'm... I am back and the videos will hopefully start coming out daily again um, like I mentioned earlier though for those of you who wanted to see the full walkthrough of this game I started it on my second channel a few days ago actually and uh, each like tournament mode has cups in it I'm not sure how it's going to work for the rest of these but for the two tournaments that I've seen so far they have the flower cup and the mushroom cup so it could be the same way for everything else we'll see but uh, if you guys want to check it out and see the whole game make sure you go watch it on my second channel because I will not be doing it on this channel after this video we have one more video the golf exhibition and then that is it we're not gonna be playing Mario Sports Superstars anymore on the channel unless you know it comes out here in America and I get the game and my friends get the game and maybe we make some multiplayer videos together but for the most part I don't really see that happening just because this game doesn't really have much to offer to be honest I really don't know why they make games like this I don't really think Mario sports games do well to the point where people buy them and just are like you know I want to dedicate some time playing Mario sports for the next two three weeks on end because they're just like you know pieces from literally different Mario games and they just brought them in this like I think this was in Mario uh, and Sonic at the Olympic Winners, the, the newest one that they had. They had like a, a horse racing game. I remember playing it and uh, I don't remember if it was similar to this. Um, I'm pretty sure the other one was better because obviously it was for Wii U, but this is still pretty good for being 3DS. It reminds me of Breath of the Wild just because Breath of the Wild is the last thing that I played where you can ride a horse in and then obviously you have like the scenic view you have some nice lovely mountains in the distance just like Breath of the Wild but speaking of Breath of the Wild it's it's kind of a good thing that I did get sicker on this time because it gave me just the opportunity to play Breath of the Wild freely without having to worry about not doing this or taking care of that because either way I was sick so it was the perfect excuse just to play Breath of the Wild I was shocked yesterday when I saw how many hours I had like put into the game it was like 85 and over like that's what it says it wasn't specific with exactly how many hours you played but it says played this game for 85 hours or more and I was like wow I I don't even remember 90% of that time like seriously I don't remember any of that time playing that game I, I just remember little bits and pieces but it did not nowhere near feel like 85 hours of playing Breath of the Wild so I was I was a little shocked by that and I was thinking to myself like there's no game that I've ever played Well, I mean there's probably games that I played longer than that like Mario and Luigi Dream Team for example Dude, that's like think about that Mario and Luigi if somebody were to tell you they played a Mario game for 85 plus hours I would be shocked. I'd be like what Mario game did you play that was that long? And Dream Team had to have been that game and the reason why it was actually very long was because not only did I play it once I actually played it again for my channel because I, I, I LP'd the game and I guess, you know, playing the game twice like literally amounted for double the time, like the play time for the game. And I lost, got fourth place. This is, this is a pretty strange game. Like, I'm not sure how it works, to be honest. I'm still a little confused, but we're going to do a couple more games in this video, so don't worry. We'll obviously use different characters as well. Um, we'll be using Luigi next and then probably... Uh, we'll, we'll use Luigi and then Daisy. That's what we're gonna be doing. So let's see which horse are we using this time around? I think I think it was yeah the balanced horse. Let's do that one and then just set it up with these settings So uh, I actually don't know what's going on man I, This video was recorded a couple of days ago And like I said, I didn't record it on the spot because I was feeling sick so I just left it and I said you know instead of recording it again might as well just record the video that I already had recorded but I don't remember exactly what went down and how things work to be honest oh I guess I I guess we quit here why was that I don't know 
Going back to free play. Oh, I, yeah, that's right. We're picking a different course because we did the uh, cobalt courses, which are these. And then we have the green farm courses and whatnot. So each, like, there's three different uh, scenic views that you can pick from. You got the green farm, the cobalt, and then there's another one, which I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing in the next one. I just don't remember, but I'm almost positive we do it in the next one. This is like a 900 meter race as well. Look at that. It's a, it's a straight up a farm. So around like these farms too, like you have these orbs, you have the star orb and then the orange orb. I'm pretty sure the orange orb are stamina refillers and then the star orbs are just orbs that you accumulate and then you just build up or just use all your power at once, like just one go. I think that's how it works. So if you were going for one of these two orbs, I would probably suggest, I, I just, I guess a mix of both really. You don't really want to prioritize one over the other. This level looks really nice. I like it. You can tell it's 3DS graphics, though. It looks very 3DS styly. But, I mean, let's be real here. Now that the Switch is out, Nintendo are probably going to make all these games in the future for the Switch just because it's the most practical thing to do considering that everybody's going to be playing the Switch. Like, I was shocked at the sales, man, that the Switch had within the first, like, week and a half. They sold, like, 2.5 million units, I believe. It was some ridiculous number. I think it was 2.5 or 1.5, but it was something outstanding within the first week. So, imagine, like, how much or how many Switches will be sold, especially when, like, those exclusive titles come out. Like, Super Mario Odyssey, like, how many Mario fans that don't currently have a Switch now would purchase a Switch just to play Super Mario Odyssey? Because I feel like the reason the Switch also did really well was because it was also being sold alongside Breath of the Wild. Even though Breath of the Wild was being sold on the Wii U, just the fact that, you know, there's a new game with the new console that's made for that console, you should play it on that. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how Breath of the Wild for the Wii U is, but I could tell you this, it's probably not going to be good, considering that even on the Switch sometimes, the game kind of hiccups and it slows down massively, like you could tell the frames are under 30 frames, you know, at certain parts in the game, um, and it just does not look good. And it always happens too when I'm playing on TV, and never, I don't think it's ever happened when, I'm, when I played it on the handheld itself. But it always happens on TV, so... Yeah, there you go. That's why you want to save those orbs. So now I got three more to go. Or actually, now I have one more at this point. See, I told you, those orbs, you accumulate them, and it just gives you a nice increase in stamina. I don't know why I, I like... Wow, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter, but... The first race, I did not do that. Like, we didn't do that, so... I don't know what was going on there, but... I guess I figured out the trick. Just grab the orbs. All right, let's see if I can get a nice boost over here. Oh, I don't know how it's gonna work or what 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 went down, but I'm pretty sure one of these races I win. It was either this one or the next one. I, it was probably this one since I'm in first place. Like these guys are really far behind. Uh oh, somebody's catching up. I need to use it. Woohoo! Daisy is in first place. Wait, what? It's funny too because if you could see the the map. Everybody's just jumbled up like they're all so close together Dang, this is the real Mario Kart This is how it all began dude back in the day before you know vehicles existed this they used to use horse They used to just run and race horse racing literally. That's exactly what they did man so uh, the last character that we used here was Daisy and um, You know, I, like I said, I don't really understand what the mood does uh, to be honest with you guys, but it looks like all these settings are the same settings. Oh, I see what it is. You can't change the level. It automatically just jumps you into the same exact level when you do play again. That makes sense. So in order to play on a different level, I have to quit out of it and then go for the next level. So yeah, that's that's that makes sense why there was a couple quits here. So going back into free race. And then we go into Yellow Leaves Hills. So these actually look exactly the same as Green Leaf Hill. Like, seriously, it's the same thing, except one's yellow, one's green. But this one looks the most unique compared to the other two. So it'll give us a nice different feel. A nighttime view of the Mario world. 900 meters times three lap. Probably my favorite, if I had to say. It looks, it looks very nice. Looks very inviting, you know? I would totally walk in a place like this if it existed. I'm sure places like this exist, but 
I would totally take a stroll here, you know, enjoy the scenic views. I'm always about that, you know. That's probably why I love Breath of the Wild so much, just because of how crazy detailed it is and how big the world is. Apparently, the map is not that big on a scale to, like, you know, other MMOs out there, like Skyrim, Elder Scrolls. Like, if you compared the, those maps, like, I don't know about Dark Souls, but if you compared, like, those maps, World of Warcraft, obviously, it would make the, uh, the, the, the Breath of the Wild map look puny. But it's still very big for anything that Nintendo has ever made before, so... And just the fact that it's Zelda, too. I know this entire episode I've been talking about Breath of the Wild, but literally, that's been my life over the past, like, three, four days. I don't have anything going through my mind except Breath of the Wild. And I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And, uh, I haven't been uploading, obviously, Breath of the Wild because I've been sick, but... I'm probably gonna make a video explaining everything that's going down with that, just because I realized how long of a game it actually is, and it's one of those games that, you know, is is better to just enjoy rather than having to stress about LPing it, or even streaming it for that matter. Stream, streaming it would be a lot better for a game like Breath of the Wild than it would be to LP the game, but, you know, we'll see. This is, uh, this is, this is not the time to be talking about this kind of stuff. But anyways, we are in first place, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this one as well. Just because, you know, we have three of these boosts. Oh, DK and Waluigi are also using theirs. But, you know, if I've had to compare this to the other three games that we've done so far on the channel. Uh, this would definitely be, like, number two or three. I really like tennis, because tennis is obviously, you know, the one that I'm used to playing the most, and the one that I've played the most in general for any Mario sport. And then soccer was very nice. I liked soccer, even though I didn't understand it for the first, like, uh, the first game or two. It, I feel like if I kept playing it more and more, it would be a game that I could actually see myself playing a lot more often. I have my friends that play FIFA all the time, like my younger brother and Purple Roger, you guys probably might know of him. He plays FIFA all the time, and I see him, I, like, I watch him play it. Literally, it's just Mario-themed FIFA. Except, you know, it's Mario-themed. That's literally it. So, it would be a game that I could probably play with them. And have a lot of fun. And actually understand and learn more about soccer, because I legit don't know anything about that sport. I just know that there's two goalies, and you just gotta kick the ball to the goalie. That's pretty much the niche of it. And we are going to win because there is the finish lap and nobody else has the speed to pass me. That was against six racers too, so I win Baby Luigi, Luigi, DK, Waluigi, and Wario. Literally just two foreigners and then everyone else is a, a Mario brother technically. So that is pretty much it guys for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next time we're going to be taking on the Golf Exhibition, which is the final game mode of this game. And then, like I said, if you want to see the full walkthrough, just go check it out on my second channel. I already started it, and, uh, today should we have, uh, we should have the tennis videos uploaded today. And then tomorrow, I think it'll be baseball, and then we're going to save golf and horse racing for the last. So, anyways, thank you for watching once again. Drop a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.